hi everyone thanks for coming back to my channel um just down in the kitchen at the moment um put a little bit of makeup on and i'm going to do my hair and what i thought we'd um look at is a new product which i've come across i wanted to show you hair without using it and then hair with it um now please bear in mind that we are in lockdown at the minute and I ideally need to see a hairdresser because um, I have coloured my own roots but I feel as if they're not quite, it's not a quite even colour so I've been putting some ash through um, to take out any of the sort of yellow blonde and it's um, building up a little bit over here but are still not quite how I want it on the roots so anyway in time it will get sorted but for now I'm going to do show you how I dry my hair and then you can see the hair and the condition it's in and, and what it looks like and then I will show you the new product that I've come, come across which is abs apparently absolutely fantastic so um, I'll yeah we'll go into that right bit of root lift um, at the back. Probably have it. I tend to let it air dry as much as I can to start with. Take off a little bit of the excess so it's only really a little bit damp underneath now. And then I squash it up. And do sections. This is my hair's long. This is long for me. So looking back for the, for the last three years, this is the amount of growth that I've had. Feels nice condition. The products I've been using on it are Fanola. Um, purple shampoo. I was told you could get a blue shampoo or even pink to um, to deal with the yellow to get rid of any messiness but I haven't found those products yet so if you know of any then maybe you could let me know because that would be useful. I don't want it grey, I just want it a little bit toned down might be a toner that I need. Eventually when we get to see a hairdresser, that's the uh, next step. And I seem to forget about the middle bit. The back. Because I can't see. So I know the hairdressers always make sure the hair is bone dry. I think that's what helps in giving it a good style. So all I do is section it off and dry it through like this. And I'm on this size brush at the moment. Started with a very tiny brush. My hair was very short. And now I'm like this or a paddle brush. I'm probably ready to start moving to a, a much bigger to try and get a more sleek look, a bigger barrel. So I was trying to bend the ends over and explain why. I don't I have always had very straight hair um growing up. But Try and give the ends a little bit of a bend and then use some straighteners once it's finished. It doesn't take me long to do it. Put you on fast forward any moment.
happy with these sort of colours here. It's just not consistent everywhere around. But if you can see the kind of condition, I'm not unhappy with it, but I think it could definitely be better. So last bit. know that when the hair is damp and wet, this is when it is particularly sensitive to damage and breakage. And I don't think you're supposed to really put your hair dry or right on it like that, but I don't know, I'm not professional. Just do what I think. You do <laughs> what you think. <laughs> it's good for your hair. on it. The next thing I would do is because if you can see the ends of the hair do look like I want to gross you out. They look like they're split ends, but they're not. It's because my hair whoops my hair was damaged when I had the or affected when I had the chemotherapy quite a, well about three years ago now. And as a result, it changed its shape, so it was always straight. Now, it's kind of, not every hair, but quite a few, are what I would say squiggly. So they're not um, curly, because people said, oh, your hair might come back completely different, it might be curly. Um, it isn't, it's just, it's not bad condition. I'm um, using some good products on it, trying to drink as, as much water as possible, but... Um, yeah, that's how it is with the after effects of very harsh chemicals on it. So, what I want to try and do is improve it, make it better. So, I have got some of this, which is Olaplex. And I ordered this a couple of weeks ago, and I'm going to start using it. And then we'll be able to assess the difference between before and afterwards. So in this, this is the trial box. It is product number three, four, five, and six. And uh, apparently you don't need to use very much. So the plan is from tomorrow to start and use this. And it acts as like a bonding agent. Um, and particularly that one there is a bond smoother. So hopefully this will help the ends where they look like split ends but they're not actually, they're just um, just changed. So it's not designed for hair that's had chemotherapy by any means, it's just a general product that everyone can use on their hair and apparently it's really a pretty much a cult product. If 
very popular and it just smooths the hair shaft um, and, I, and I think for a period of time. Um, it, oh, I think it always used to be available in hairdressers but now it's used at home. So we're going to give these a try and I have also got as well as my um, mini kit and all the Plex number seven this camera doesn't seem to focus sometimes um, on its own this is an oil for um, a specific treatment so I'm going to use that that's the number seven bonding oil um, boosts shine strengthens and repairs all hair types so yeah I'm going to give that a go and next time I come and visit you to look at hair um, we'll see how hopefully it's improved so really popular product um, and something we're going to give a try whilst we're in lockdown get some nice glow, glow on the skin and some condition into the hair right so hair done quick drink of coffee I have done my makeup. I brought this tray down. As you can see, it is um, an I it's one of those IKEA trays with the little legs. Really useful um, because I can put on it everything I'm using on that day. Um, this I don't think I've mentioned this before, but this is my favourite um, tan self tan. Um, it's James Reed, and it's quite gradual. It's quite subtle. So I put some of that on. But because I feel as I've got older, I need to put uh, more coverage on and my eyes do look puffy. I think that's just a genetic thing, but they do look puffy. I've tried to lighten up with, um, with some concealer, but um, it, yeah, I've, ha I've put on probably a heavier makeup than certainly I would normally wear and I'm hardly wearing any in lockdown, but um, I put some of that on to uh, probably, dis it's probably disguised all the tan. But never mind. Right, so the next thing I wanted to tell you was I left off the last vlog by talking about my wreath, which um, I've um, adjusted. Um, I was hoping to show you a picture of the before um, rather than this one, but all I've done is layer on some of the new products that I've bought. I'd already put these feathers in. Um, these were part of it. Um, there's quite a lot of details, some smaller feathers. These seed heads have arrived and I plan to, um, to, to wire them on probably before I do it next year because I'm quite busy with my paintings at the moment. So this I bought, I wanted aged velvet ribbon but I couldn't find any and I ordered that online and as you do online I haven't ordered enough so I'll order some more and that will replace that I'll do another double ball and I want it to hang right down um, and as it's sitting outside it eventually will get more weathered anyway but I do like it and it's ready to go away in, into, a pack, into packaging um, so we're going to whiz upstairs pop this away and I want to introduce you to my art studio. So let's go. Look how high the river is. I've come out for a little walk and it's you can see the sun's out. It's a lovely morning. No sleet and snow in the sky this morning get some fresh air into oh, some, get a nice stride out as you go mentally look at that 